Welcome to the Country Scroller, I'm Dustin, and we're going to be making this United States Marine Corps sign. Stay tuned. Alright, to create this United States uh, Marine plaque here, uh, again, patterns by Steve Good, and this is also included in the uh, PDF printout of the pattern, so I use this to indicate where everything's going to be located at once I uh, have it all cut out and glue it up. So, uh, and also the paint, I'm going to be leaving the backer plane and then painting the letters and the symbol and the rings uh, brown. So. Uh, just keep that as a little reference thing, not too much uh, to it, but uh, stuff like the army sign that I did uh, back in episode 20 something, I think it was, uh, that was a little helpful to uh, see where everything was at. So here's everything. I cut out the pattern already, and uh, they, he includes the rings and also the backer, but the outside of this ring is the same diameter as the backer. So you can basically just disregard that, take the two pieces of birch ply, uh, for instance, so that's what we're using here, you could use whatever, and just stack cut the outside ring, and then take one piece off and then cut out the other rings. That way you can just uh, make sure they're the same size, so when you glue them up, of course you'll have some sanding to do, but they'll match up that way. And then uh, making it all out of quarter inch birch ply, so... Uh, you got everything like that on there and again the backer is going to be uh, plain and we'll be painting the letters with uh, just a brown any brand of work so with that I'll just get the pattern on and uh, get the holes drilled and get ready to cut out the scroll sole nothing real fancy with putting the pattern on just like every other uh, pattern that I put on I'll start with the masking tape to uh, help peel it up at the end. Then I'll spray adhesive the uh, pattern down then cover it with some box tape to uh, prevent uh, burning or lubricate the blade. It also helps keep the pattern down in case the uh, you know, peels up while you're cutting. It is cold out here so it's uh, not that sticky, the uh, pattern and stuff like that. So let's uh, get all that done and I'll be back to start cutting. I already have all three things with the uh, patterns on and uh, holes drilled. On the one I'm stack cutting, if you haven't seen a uh, stack cutting before, I have plenty of videos of them, but I stacked the two pieces of uh, quarter inch birch together and just wrapped it in a clear box tape to uh, hold it together. Uh, if I did something more intricate where I stack cut, I might put in some pin nails or something around the perimeter, but the uh, tape will hold it and I inserted or I drilled a insert hole for the blade that way if I come from the edge it'll all break away and uh, I won't have anything to hold on to at the end this way I can cut it all out and then it will fall out of the outside so with that I'll go over to the scroll saw and start cutting this out here we are at the DeWalt 788 scroll saw and I have a number one ultra reverse tooth flying dutchman blade in here same as the uh, portrait of the elephant video uh, the reason being, uh, this isn't too intricate, but uh, once we get to the letters, uh, it's going to be a little bit tighter of turns and stuff. A three might work, but uh, I really like the uh, one with the tight uh, turning radius and stuff like that. So let's start cutting.
right now to uh, move on to cutting the letters and I'm going to cut out every little uh, interior cut that has a uh, entry hole first and then I'll go back and cut out each individual letter. Alright, so here's our original color scheme we're going to use is the uh, actual letters and everything, the darker color and then the backer have it be lighter. But uh, to save time and also it'll be easier to do on the camera, especially the cold with the paint drying, I'm going to have the backer be the dark color and the rest of the letters are just going to stay the uh, light Baltic birch color. So uh, I'll go ahead and sand and then uh, we'll paint. It might take a coat or two because it is cold and the paint doesn't do well drying in the cold. Alright, the paint's dry on our backer and uh, actually did pretty good because I have the heater on in here so it dried alright. I have the two rings and I'll just go ahead and set this up how it will look for you and then I will uh, just glue it all together. And they'll have the United States and then Marine Corps down there. Uh, just go off the uh, sheet here if you need to know uh, exactly the placement of it. Just as a reference, you know. So I'll do that and I'm going to be gluing it with just some super glue. And you might think that's uh, half doing it in uh, woodworking using super glue. But in this case with a lot of these tiny letters, uh, it's not because, you know, you don't really have to clamp those and... You just want a quick bond, and uh, since you have quite a few of them, so uh, super glue will work good for it. Plus, uh, you know, it can cure in the uh, cold temperatures of the swarf shop. So, I'll get all those glued up, and then we'll be back to uh, do a little finish sanding and a clear coat. All right, so it's about done. I have everything glued on, and as you can see, I drilled a hole up there so it can be hung up. Now I'm going to give it a protective clear coat. And it will also bring out the uh, grain and color into the uh, unfinished birch there. And to do that is a, another brand of clear uh, lacquer by Rust-Oleum. The last video I did uh, clear acrylic by Krylon. And both brands are good. Now I don't have much of either one. I have to go to the store and get some more. So once this dries, it'll be done. And that's the final product. Thanks for watching this build of the United States Marine Corps sign. Uh, the pattern is by Steve Good on the Scroll Saw Workshop website. And as well as the sweatshirt I'm wearing today, it is by Steve Good. Uh, he created it on Cafe Press. 
So uh, there is a link on his website. Go take a look at that and uh, support him over there at the scroll saw workshop. He does a lot for scrollers, including uh, people like myself with uh, free patterns, such as the sign that we made today, and uh, plenty of demonstrational videos as well. So uh, he's definitely helped people like me. So give back by buying a I love to scroll shirt. They also have Excalibur ones too. So. Uh, for all you Excalibur people out there. So uh, giving back to him, I wore this today. And uh, since we're giving back to the troops in this video, so I thought it would be a giving back video. So uh, again, this was the same order as the uh, elephant portrait from the last week's video. So I uh, hope you liked this video. Not much different than the uh, army sign video that I made uh, way back when, back in the shed workshop which was a while ago so i hope you liked this video we'll see you next week and i uh, hope it'll be a don't know what i'm gonna make but hope it'll be an exciting video for you guys to watch and uh, appreciate all you viewers out there for uh, watching my videos and uh, stay tuned for each one coming up i'm dustin thanks for watching